The Peace game operates much like a strategy board game mixed with a role-playing game. Critical thinking and strategy are the keys in this game. It's understanding the operational environment. So I'm trying to enable decision makers to understand the problem instead of allowing them to assign a probability to the success. Players can import maps and design political borders, determine size, strength, and mobility of conflicting forces, ability to convert others into their ranks, access to food, water, medicine, and ammunition, and above all, time is a major factor in the game. Players can determine the length of each round, days, weeks, months. Time can impact real-world scenarios. Why not in the game? It's to understand possible implications of your decisions. And if you understand them before you actually enact that strategy in the real world, you are better prepared for when they happen. The game is easily portable. It doesn't require special hardware and can be easily installed and operated on standalone computers. So it's a very small file. The only requirement on your machine to, to run the files is that you have a Java runtime environment installed. In terms of the actual transport of the files, I've literally emailed them to myself several times in order to get them from machine to machine. The game was sponsored by the United States Marine Corps Combat Development Command. And what they've wanted is a look at the Sudan, South Sudan conflict region, and specifically a region called Abye, which is a disputed borderland between Sudan and South Sudan. Well, the game was developed by a student team and basically was led by Lieutenant Commander Matt Powers, United States Navy, and German Army Captain Danny Hairline. Danny had a passion for computer coding. What he created was really a masterpiece. Well, that's what we tried to capture here, randomness, so you may have a strategy in the game of risk and you're trying to enact that strategy, but with a bad roll of the die, your strategy can fall apart. You may have a strategy that on paper or in doctrine looks good, sounds good, smells good, but without considering all the, the randomness, all the higher level effects, all the impacts of your decisions beyond what you've planned for, then your plan is flawed and your strategy, just like in the game of risk, will fall apart. These are two students that uh, went clearly above and beyond, and uh, it's really through their initiative and drive and determination that this game has blossomed into uh, a, a very useful tool. We sponsored Danny and Matt the week that they graduated to go to Helsinki, Finland and demonstrate the game. And the game attracted uh, high-level attention from NATO uh, general officers, and they subsequently funded both Danny and Matt to enhance the game. Powers recently visited MPS to guest lecture. He also met with Commander Daniel White to further research and development of the Peace Game. It's similar to wargaming in the sense that you do have to think about the bigger implications of logistics, supply, and infrastructure. But instead of conducting war, we're trying to make it so like you can, you can then walk away from this country knowing that it's going to be a, a valued community partner within the global community, be it economically, socially, or militarily. You need to provide infrastructure, you need to provide an understanding of the community and the culture, and you have to figure out what's important to them and how do you get that to them so they don't regress back into uh, a warring faction sort of thing. Killing themselves and then becoming terrorist states. This is one of my favorite potential uses of the Peace Game is it enables you to see the black swan. It's something that you would have thought of if only. So these black swans, so to speak, can emerge through a few simulations or a few iterations of trying out your courses of action and seeing how other humans around the table will react, how the algorithm reacts. You're better enabling yourself to react when those black swans happen.